Hey guys, it's Rachel, and today we are making these Hello Kitty 4th of July Red Velvet Mason Jar Cakes, which is a long title that I'm going to have to cut down for the title of this video. But anyways, this is a collab that I'm doing with Vedika from Hot Chocolate Hits. You guys know I love her channel. She's going to teach us how to make the Red Velvet Cupcakes for these with a lemony cream cheese frosting that is so good. So I will just let Vedika tell you a little bit about her channel. Thanks, Rachel. I love to bake, so on my channel you'll find a variety of sweet treats, occasional savory snacks, and interviews with other other foodies, including one coming up with Rachel, so if you're into that kind of stuff, stop by and say hello. Thanks, Vedika. This is going to be more of like a DIY video, I guess, than like a baking video, because Vedika has kindly done all the work for us at making the cupcakes. So I think it is time to get crafty. Let's get started. Now I'm going to take this cupcake and hand it over to Rachel. Thanks, Vedika. I wish I could hand a cupcake off to you guys like that, too. Anyways, here are Vedika's red velvet cupcakes. These are so moist, just a little bit chocolatey, probably one of my go-to recipes now. So I'm just going to pipe some of that lemony cream cheese frosting on top of each cupcake. And again, both the recipe for the cupcakes and the frosting will be on Vedika's channel as kind of part one of this collab. After you've piped on the frosting, just place another cupcake on top. Afterwards, just another swirl of cream cheese frosting. Then I'm going to sprinkle on some white sanding sugar. This is just so that when you pop on the lid, the lid won't stick to the frosting. And then to make these extra festive, we're also going to throw on some red, white, and blue star sprinkles. Screw on the lid and then we'll move on to our decorations. You'll just need these printouts that I'll have in the description box below. Hopefully you like cutting things out because these scallops take a little bit of time. If you want to speed things up, just turn them into like spikes or something. And I know the whiskers can be a pain to cut out, which is why I've also designed a star Hello Kitty in case you're feeling impatient. Once you've finished cutting everything out, you're just going to punch a hole in Hello Kitty's ear and then glue on the label on top. Today I'm just using some Eileen's Tacky Glue. Really any kind of wet glue should work though. Now I'm just going to string my Hello Kitty onto some thin blue ribbon, making sure I have enough left over to tie a bow later. And I'm just going to wrap the ribbon around once. Then snip off the excess and tie it off with a bow. I love how these come out really cute, but they don't take any sort of special crafty skills. Pretty much anyone can do this. Last step is to tape on our spoon. So I'm just going to place some washi tape on it, leaving more room on one side than the other. This way you have just enough to cover the front of your jar because they're just going to rip off the spoon anyways. And that's it. Alright guys, our Hello Kitty Mason Jar Cakes are finished now. These would be great to give out as 4th of July gifts also because they are super portable. So if you just want to make a bunch of them and bring them to like a 4th of July parade or something, I'm sure everyone would appreciate the Hello Kitty adorable red velvet sweetness that you're providing. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out Vedika's video too at the end of this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Thanks so much for watching. Click below for Vedika's red velvet cupcake recipe, and don't forget to subscribe for more cute recipes. Talk to you soon.